Hey guys, what's up? It's Illusion or Brad. Um, got a quick video here just to show you how to add the Twitch quick actions to Streamlabs. Uh, I had a lot of comments asking how do you do this. So I'll be using Streamlabs OBS version 0 0.27.1 uh, and this should show you how to do it. So this is the uh, this is what you're going to basically want to accomplish. Um, so you get the quick actions at the top. You can if you open this up, you can add new ones. So let's let's add a stream marker, uh, follower only chat, thirty second ad break. And then you should just be able to if I remember correctly. Close that. You don't need to go down to the bottom and click anything. Click the close button, and yeah, they all appear at the top. So when you come into Streamlabs, this is the overlay editor. Uh, you click down here on these three squares. So normally you'd be in this screen. Click down here on these three squares, and this is what it would look like. Um, what you want to do is you can choose a different layout depends how you're feeling um you want to have your mini feed there because that shows you who's recently subscribed to you followed you etc 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 so leave the mini feed as is uh normally what i would do is replace this stream preview window um uh, it causes you to have uh some so it can sometimes cause you to have dropped frames if you've got this open um so i would prefer to do that so what i'll do is grab this website block down here copy that over and then using the link in the description you want to add this link and you want to put your username here so after the u slash and before the stream manager your your, your uh, username goes in here or whatever your twitch username is so for me it's illusion tv uh slash quick actions click save changes and straight away it'll come up at the top um it might ask you to log in if you're not already logged in it will ask you to log in um bear that in mind and once you've logged in if you close streamlabs reopen streamlabs it should then work um if it still doesn't work try clearing your cookies and cache on your browser and then re-logging in to twitch this should then work make sure Chrome or whatever browser you use the most is set to your default browser as well. That will allow Streamlabs to pick up the cookies and ensure that it keeps you logged in. Yeah, that's all it really takes. Uh, it's not too much hassle to get done. Um, I would always sort of recommend to use OBS over Streamlabs just because it uses less CPU. Um, it's less intensive and yeah, it's, it's a vanilla experience. Although I can see the the need for something like Streamlabs for new streamers. So if you're a new streamer, say with Streamlabs, that's fine. But eventually you should look to move to OBS or something like that. If you get custom overlays at uh, that point, it's easier to move to OBS and use a custom overlay on there. If you need any other sort of guidance on Streamlabs, leave a comment, let me know. Um, if you need anything on OBS, leave a comment, let me know. Anything to do with streaming as a whole, I can make a video on it. Not a problem. Just uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if this helps you, um, I'll try and make some more tips and tricks and how-tos around OBS streaming, Streamlabs audio, video, any, any of the above really, um, as soon as I can. But yeah, that's, that's, been, that's been it. That's been me. Catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.